we studied maths trigonometry calculus in our school life today as an engineer i don't know where it is applying in my life i was young when i studied wheatstone region college i never knew whether it has some applications on board ship or not i just read the formulas understood and jai mata di but yes this is where electrical package comes into play in this video we will teach you what wheatstone bridge is and we will also teach you how much you have to know because there is so much to know this much is sufficient and where the importance of wheatstone bridge comes on board ship and that is all what you need to know not this much and not this much this much is enough so please go ahead with orvin sir watch this video learn and share what you have learned in the comment section so in this module we will be discussing about wheatstone bridge so what exactly is the wheatstone bridge and why do we use it most often in the electronic circuits this is very important concept and it is also widely used in various measuring instrument and other instruments on board ship as well as in industrial arena so we must know as an engineer what wheatstone bridge is and how does it work so let's begin so what you see in front of you is the construction of a wheatstone bridge so you please pause the video and just try to understand how the construction is there and what is a how the placement of resistances are there and what is this in between okay so let's begin so first of all when we talk about a bridge so here is the placement of these four resistances across each arm ab bc cd and ad there are four resistances two of these nodes here or junctions they are provided from a dc source that is battery and across the other nodes that is junction b and d they are joined together through this galvanometer which is there to read the current value in this arm b and d whatever current is flowing my galvanometer is going to read that okay so this wheatstone bridge uh, is basically named after mr charles wheatstone because he uh, uh, basically improved this bridge a lot and why basically we are, why are we using such an arrangement is is because this is very sensitive equipment and it can measure changes in the resistance very effectively means if there is any there is any change in the resistance in these arms then we can get a deflection at the galvanometer okay so having said that let's understand what do we mean by a balanced wheatstone bridge so when can we say that this wheatstone bridge is balanced so first of all we need to know the resistance values let's say the res this resistance value is p this is r this is q and this is s this arrow suggests that this is variable resistance we can simply vary the resistance value here why why do we need to do that because we if we vary this resistance we can actually make this wheatstone bridge and we can convert it into balanced state okay so for that we need to take a ratio first so when we say it is balanced that time the ratio of resistance is p over r should be equal to q over s or you can also write p over q equal to r over s because you can simply bring the q here and bring the r there so it's the same thing either this over this is equal to this over this or this over this is equal to this over this so you don't don't need to remember also right okay so when this is the condition when this ratio is equal to this ratio at that time there will be no current flowing through this arm if there is no current flowing through this arm that means galvanometer is showing me zero deflection 
that also means if there is no current flowing that means the potential at b vb and here let's say the potential at d when there is no current flowing that that basically means the potential had to be same that's why there is no current flowing so in that case we can say that vb is equal to vd so volt potential at b is same as potential at d so basically we can say that potential difference between b and d is zero there is no difference in potential because they are same the potential may be there but since they are same so there is no difference when there is no potential difference the current will not flow in this arm now if we change any of these resistances any of these let's say the res resistance in question is this initially the bridge is balanced if it was not balanced we can make it balanced by just changing the value of s and we made it make we made it balanced now after that if there is any change in the value of q or any one let's say it is we are only focusing on q then there will be deflection because it is no more balanced so when can q change we will see that means what all factors is affecting my resistance here i can measure that through change in the deflection here so if my resistance change i'll get to know simple so that's the application of wheatstone bridge wheatstone bridge is very sensitive equipment basically it will tell you if there is any change in resistance value we will get to know through wheatstone bridge so what is an application let's see so there are just few application which we have listed there are much more than that so basically used in measurement of temperature what do we use for measuring temperature we use a sensor called pt100 on ships and in industries also secondly we can also measure torque or shaft power in what equipment torsion meter and also we can get to know how much is the hydrocarbon percentage is there are certain area on ships where, where there could be a possibility of hydrocarbon gas and that can be dangerous so we must monitor those areas so for that reason we are using an equipment called explosive meter which basically is measuring hydrocarbon percentages we are using wheatstone bridge in the circuitry of that explosive meter so these are few basic uh, uses we are going to explain that in details in the later sections or later modules so that's all for here gentlemen see you again next time bye bye